Well, hello, retro game players. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Marcus. We're going to be checking out Half-Life Blue Shift on the Sega Dreamcast. It's the unreleased game from 2001. It's an expansion pack from the original game, but let's jump right into it. So, I did play the Half-Life game on the channel recently. If you missed it, check it out. Uh, this is basically the expansion pack, Blue Shift, that was eventually leaked out. Um, and here it is. It's definitely interesting. I've never played this on the Dreamcast, so I wanted to go and, and go ahead and try it. Um, I beat it back in the day on PC, but it's been so long. So, it says, Error, no Half-Life. Okay, that's okay. So, oh, interesting, because on the first game, on Half-Life, there was Blue Shift. But anyway, that's weird. I wonder if, um, I wonder if this was supposed to be a two-disc game or a one-disc game. I don't really know. Oh, and I could have done normal. doesn't really matter. Um, but I wanted to play this to see what it was like. I do remember that in this game, you take over Barney, the security guard, um, and you play through the game. I can barely remember um, anything about it. It was kind of a long time ago that I played it on PC, but I don't know. Figured we'd played the Half-Life version on Dreamcast. Might as well play the unreleased Blue Shift expansion pack. And I looked this up. Apparently this game, or this expansion pack, which by the way, this is a pretty big expansion pack. Um, I don't think it's as large as Half-Life originally, but it's still a pretty, pretty long game for you know being that. But, um, Good morning. yeah, I don't know. What I was going to say is that the, oh, look at this. I'm on another train. They like starting games when you're on the train. And there was another one, too, uh, where you're the soldier. It was like Operation something. I forget what, oh, there's, is that the guy up there? Oh, just some scientists. Yeah, I remember there was another expansion pack, too. It was like something... I feel like it was Operation something. Maybe I'm wrong. But anyway, you played the soldier. Um, in this case, though, yeah, you're just a secur security guard of the Black Mesa um, facility. But yeah, this game is so crazy, though, because it's it's like a different perspective of the same you know timeline. Oh, the guy's playing some arcade game. The Dreamcast resolution's so low, you can't tell what the hell it is. Actually, this looks pretty good, to be honest, for Dreamcast. I'm also running this on a real Dreamcast in VGA mode. I believe I'm running... Yeah, I'm using the VGA converter. I always forget because I have to convert it. Um, I use the Toro from Barbaro Brothers, and so when you start the game, you usually start it up with... Um, RGB and then right before the Dreamcast starts the game you toggle a switch to get to VGA mode if the game supports it It will boot up. So that's how I have it running and then um, I have that going to a SCART cable Which then transmits that signal into my frame Meister. So by the end it looks pretty good. It looks pretty sharp But as I talked about in Half-Life The loading is a little slow um, and one of the big disappointments, I'd say, for the Dreamcast, because in PC world, you know, as far as that went, it was pretty instantaneous as far as the loading between the different hubs. And, um, again, that was one of the coolest things. Look at this guy. It's a little pedestrian walkway. But yeah, it, 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 the way it would work is that there wasn't really levels in Half-Life. It was just this big, giant sort of hub that you would go from section to section, you know? And so you'd get these quick little loading screens on your computer. 
but the Dreamcast, because it's all disc based, um, has to load it from the disc. And so, like right now, it's seeking and you know transferring that data, and that's uh, why you get these loading screens every every so often. Um, I actually think that they're more frequent than if you are just walking around um, as far as being on this tram, on this train, because the train is taking you through different areas that are, you know, more like they're, they're rendering bigger sections at a time. So look at this guy. What? Oh, shit. Oh, there's my uh, undecided major. Man, I swear, though, Valve, like, knew what they were doing as far as storytelling-wise, man. They really did. Disaster response priority. My secondary priority. Mm. <laughs> and the lowest priority is my personal safety. So, yeah. I'm just going to go ahead and sell my soul to Black Mesa. Loading. Loading. Yeah, I wonder how much uh, this affected the cancellation of this game. If they just thought maybe the loading times were a little too much. I think it's disappointing, but they may not have wanted to get those bad reviews, you know, of just at the time trying to play something like this. Insecurity code Barney goes to work. Is this locked? Oh, it's locked. There we go. Got to have the guy help me. Look at that fool. What are you looking at? Okay, I think I got it. I like how in Blue Shift... Oh. System crashes, security malfunctions. It's a wonder this whole place hasn't shut down yet. Yeah, tell me about it. I saw what happened to Gordon. But yeah, I like how it's got the blue HUD. That is very cool. Instead of it being orange, that is a standout difference. And then, of course, you know, Half Life 2, man. Talk about another amazing game. Absolutely amazing game. Come on, Dreamcast. Come on. You can do it. It's trying. It's like I'm finally ready to play the game. All right. I don't know which way to go. Area security or... Oh, okay. All right. Nice. It looks like Fanta. Actually runs pretty smooth. Nice of you to show up this morning, Calhoun. Yeah, yeah, I know. Problems with the access system. Hope you're ready for a long shift. It's a blue shift. I can't access my files. I can't answer my mail. I haven't even been able to get into my office. I know, sir. I know. I know. We're doing everything we can to get the problem under control. Just give us some time. To... Time? I don't have any more time. If I'm not able to get my report to the administrator in the next hour, then my job will be in serious jeopardy. Oh, my job. 
Time to go to the personnel facility here. See if there's a gun or something. Am I Jones? What was my last name? Barney something. Probably over here. Oh, there we go. Calhoun. There we go. Oh, there's my little lady. <laughs> nice. Government conspiracies and the truth about aliens. I don't think I have a gun yet. I got it, dude. I got it. I know where I'm going. The sound effects in Half-Life, is they're just so cool, man. Everything from, seriously, the button presses. Can I go this way? Oh! Footsteps. Oh, man. Oh, there's a thing that Gordon pushes in. That's pretty cool. Shooting range. What up? Looks like that guy shot his hand or something. Good morning. Good morning. Alrighty then. Let's go this way. Oh yeah, dude. Get the gun. How's it going? I'm great. Yes. I know you're not on the schedule for a couple more days, but if you want to squeeze in a few shots in the range, there's plenty of room. Yeah, is there some ammo in there? I don't want to waste all my ammo. Plenty of room, huh? Won't let me in. What is that guy doing? Hey, he's eating a donut. Man, wish I was eating a donut. That's all I gotta say. Alright, so now where? Where do I go now? Um, probably not back this way. I think I must go back up. Because now I'm armed. definitely cool too to get a gun right away in this game instead of the crowbar I'm a little busy right now Calhoun. you're busy you be on duty by now? yeah I know where it's not that way okay Oh, there we go. Have a good one, Calhoun. Thanks, you too, sir. I'm getting Subway later if you want something. And a Fanta. An orange Fanta. Actually, make it blue. A blue Fanta. I don't think they have blue Fanta. I think they have grape. All I know is orange and grape.
Uh, Dreamcast. Uh. Actually, it seems like the loading times are a little worse in this expansion pack than Half-Life. Just barely. Seems like it hangs at the end, even when it's like fully loaded. 100%. Still hangs for a second. Oh, yeah, I, I see troubles. Can I play with this? walk. Is that what I'm supposed to do? Guess so. You know, another game that was interesting uh, that came out around this time, I think it was after it was after this. It was Gunman Chronicles. That was a crazy game too. Okay, what what the hell, dude? Oh, there we go. Okay. Am I supposed to shoot that? There we go. Oh, did I just restore the uh, power? Actually, I just, I feel like shooting that just for fun. Ah, nothing. Okay. Did I fix it? Come on. I hear the power. What do you got to say, punk? Hmm. The music started up. I figured that the power would have done something. Maybe I'll go back. Nothing down here. In the last game, the ladder killed me. That's what happened. Oh, there's my flashlight. Also, the... Uh, oh, come on now. What's this? I don't know. I'm trying to open shit up and no smoking. It doesn't seem to want to explode. I'm trying to use stuff. Oh. Oh. There we go. Flashlight. There we go. Yeah, so like the saving in this, there's no auto saving. So you have to actually go into the menu and save it, which kind of sucks. It's 
weird. Did I miss something? Half-Life, Blue Shift. Hmm, I don't think so. I'm gonna run out of ammo, dude. I gotta stop shooting shit. It seems like it's gotta be up there. Maybe I gotta hit that control panel. Nothing. There we go. Whatever, dude. What is that about? It's like I was hitting that open on that door over and over. Oh, there's my tram. Oh, there's that bastard, dude. You son of a bitch. I should have delayed his train. His tram. Maybe you just walk through those doors. Maybe that's what I'm doing wrong. I'm actually pushing the button. Maybe you just walk through. So you can see that that's the first time we've had a loading screen in quite a while. So that kind of goes to show what I was saying is that you know, when you're on the tram in the beginning, it's loading more because you're loading much larger areas. But when you're on foot, you know, it's quite a ways to play before you get a loading screen, which is kind of cool. And this is what I mean about it filling up and then holding, like not being quite ready. Um, whereas it seems like Half-Life was loading a little faster for the Dreamcast. I might be wrong, but it seems like it's just holding out. Just like, ugh. It's still cool, though. It's a very immersive... Okay. Yeah, I'm just walking through the door, dude. That's the difference. Oh, hey. Well, it's about time. We don't pay you people to mosey around at your own convenience. Shut up, Maybe dick. so we can get on with this miserable day. <laughs> this miserable day, oh my god. Look at this guy. Hey, just, what, I gotta hit the button too? You guys are lazy. You guys are gonna pay. Miserable day. Unbelievable. Oh shit. materials people again <laughs> always pushing their equipment too hard dabbling in who knows what i'd be surprised if there's one good brain among them so concurrently this is where gordon is probably pushing that thing into the reactor or whatever the hell that is yep Dude. Shit is going down. And so are we. Oh, what? Oh, the electrical field. Oh, there's one of those things. That shows up way later in the game um, in Half Life. But they do just teleport in. Oh, and those things are hilarious, those weird little fat dogs. Whoa! Holy crap. Oh, crap. Oh, man. I only got this one scientist left. Whoa, we're free falling, dude. Oh, God. Pretty cool. 
I love it, man. I love how it's like, you know what happened to cause this. If you don't know, go watch the other video. Because there you'll see, but that's what happened, man. Gordon. Still really cool. So cinematic, you know? They really know what they were doing back then, man. Just the scripted events. It's pretty cool back then, too. Nowadays, whatever. All the games have this kind of stuff. It's just nothing. It's like, ugh. Duty calls. Oh, man. Oh, look at that. Oh, and there's the crowbar. This guy's definitely dead. I don't know if I can get ammo from that guy. Probably not. There we go. That sound effect. Oh my god, dude. All these sound effects are so cool. The jumping will suck in this game just because the Dreamcast. You have to hit up on the D-pad over here to jump. That is uh, pretty challenging. Now, I do remember in Half-Life, you can remap everything. Oh, dude. Oh, dude. How do I get my gun back? So cool. How do I get my gun back? Where did it go? I mean, not a big deal, but... Well, there was a good jump. Okay, got some ammo. That's the one thing, man. The Dreamcast doesn't have quite enough buttons for you to play a first-person shooter like this. It's capable, though. Oh, what did I do? Did I, I think I did that. Did I actually do that? <laughs> that sucks. The lighting's so cool, man. I am a little puzzled, though. Like, how do I get my gun back? Oh, oh, the floor. Oh, head crab. I'm going to look and see how to change weapons, because that's crazy. What? Shift. It, oh, is it shift in something? Maybe that's... 
Oh. No. Alt fire. Look move. I don't know. It must be like, um... Let me go back. Let's see. No. Oh, there we go. There we go. So it was. You have to hold the left trigger and then hit left on the D-pad or the right. Oh, my flashlight's dying. I gotta turn that off. Okay. We are set. Oh, hello. I actually remember this part. The canal? The canal's where I want to be. Thanks, bro. Good luck. Whoa. Okay, that was the room I was in. I got the informational dude. Yes! That is what I'm talking about, dude. Except I got injured. Was there health in here? Is that health over there? I don't know. That's okay. We'll be alright. We'll be okay. Oh, dude. Oh, yeah. Bust a cap in your ass. Oh, shit. Oh, there is an auto aim. That's interesting. Yeah, dude. Going the right way. And some of these huge crates, like, I think you can bust them up. I don't know if you can, these giant ones, but a lot of times you'll find stuff. Ammo, a little health, what, what not, you know. And, geez, I don't know, man. It seems like this is, like, definitely one of the games you want to play after Half-Life. Because at that point, you've seen all the enemies... Oh, that's so cool. The crane control unit. Something's preventing it uh, from moving up there. Well, there you go, guys. I think I'm going to stop here anyway. This is good. You guys got to see a good preview of what Blue Shift looks like on the Sega Dreamcast. The unreleased expansion pack for Half-Life. Pretty awesome, I got to say. I'm impressed. I don't know. Uh, what did you guys think? Um, what do you think of Half-Life? What do you think of Half-Life running on the Dreamcast? 
And did you play this? And then is the other game called Operation Flashpoint? Is that what it was called? It was something where you could play the soldiers. So anyway, until next time, you guys know what to do. You're going to keep that shit retro by playing on your Sega Dreamcast Blue Shift later on. <laughs>